Now this was a very difficult time for him because he was sent there, he wasn't allowed to, uh, it's worse than being in COVID uh, lockdown because he wasn't allowed to do anything. And it was took about three years before somebody asked him to give uh, sermons in German to the German pop, uh, congregation in Milwaukee. And from then on, he was able to have contact with people. Uh, he was a, and he wrote to, um, wrote to Rome and he said, you've sent me to a place where there are sisters and where there are priests who belong to Schoenstatt. What am I to do? I don't want to tell people I'm not allowed to speak to them because I, I wait till that's gone. Uh, he didn't want to expose what had happened. He didn't want people who loved him to suddenly find out the, what the church had done to him. So he just treated people normally. He treated the sisters normally. He treated the fathers normally. And uh, gradually lots of people came to love him. He never told them that he was the founder of Schoenstatt. But of course, people began to come and get their advice from him, get their help from him, and to come with him, not only with their troubles, but also with their joys. And when I was in Milwaukee, that's a good 10 years ago, one of the loveliest things about it was that I found how human Father Kentnick was. The prob problem with uh, saints, is very often we put them on a pedestal and we think that they're absolutely perfect and never, never stepped out of their role. Father Kentney wasn't like that. He was absolutely normal and he could laugh with the people. He became the pastor for the German uh, uh, community in Milwaukee and he went to Got, organized dances with them, he organized picnics with them, and he laughed and he enjoyed things. And one thing that he did very, very specially was he worked with families. Children loved Father Kentony. They just uh, enjoyed being with him. They were very natural and um, I mean, one little boy came and put his father's hat on his head and uh, he said he was going to be like father and everybody enjoyed it. A father went to the homes of the people and he uh, just lived with them and shared their life with them. And gradually he led them, of course, to the shrine. There was a shrine next to the house where he was living. and. He, he led them to Our Lady, he led them to the Covenant of Love. And one day, one of the families said, my children want to take um, bits of the shrine home and we want to be a living shrine. We want the shrine to become alive in our home. And Father Kentney said, well, that's a good idea. Try it, see what happens. <laughs> 